What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Masculine Energy. Uh, head over to MasculineEnergy.net if you want to have a coaching session with me. Anything that you see on the screen in front of you is just general advice, uh, information, or whatever. It'll be, it'll, it'll pretty much stay the same. But if I ever need to change anything, that's what it will be. This is the way it's going to be for now. It won't always be like this on my channel. If you don't like it, you don't have to stick around. It's okay. So, uh. I'm basically using like a whiteboard video, uh, whiteboard animation software to uh, just write shit on the screen that I would put if I was on a, you know, if I was in the room with you, you know what I mean? Uh, because shifting my office to do whiteboard or talking head videos is just uh, like, it just gives me this feeling of like, I just don't want to do this. I'd, I'd rather make the content for my other channels than to do this because of the way that I have this set up. So this is the way it's going to be for a while. And um, anybody who decides to stay, I love you. Thank you. So let's get right into this. I have an Instagram DM uh, from a gentleman. And he says, can you help me? Blah, blah, blah. Let's say, oh, and by the way, anybody who messages me, keep it under a thousand words because if you send me a novel, I won't even read it. I just won't, uh, you know, you, you like think about what like a, a transaction would be like if, if somebody would walk up to you and be like, here, read this and help me, you know, knowing like obviously whatever trade or whatever thing you do, it's like, well, make it worth my while, you know, but but if it's short enough, I will do it. Okay. So vir I almost said his damn name. <laughs> uh, I'm 22 and she's 19. She broke up with me two months ago. Uh, we were together for three years. Okay. So this guy's first language is definitely not English. He's like, we was together for almost three years and we knew each other for more. So they knew each other before and they got together. Awesome. Uh, he says, since we started dating, she was so much in love with me, like really much. <laughs> uh, she has pink glasses. So I'm not going to obviously make fun of this guy because he's trying his best to, to, you know, uh, get help with the situation. And, and he's just, you know, he's doing his, he's doing his best. And I'm not going to make fun of him or anything like that. Uh, I was everything for her and she wanted to spend a lot of time with me. I'm not sure with myself because I have never dated before. I told her so many times that I'm not sure if I'm right for her and I was focusing on a lot of many, a, a lot of other things. I hurt her a lot with my angry feelings because I couldn't control my emotions, mainly bad things that happened when I was playing on PC with her. Okay. I fucked up so many times, but when she was still hoping for me to get better with self-control... Uh, I've done so many things to her. I treated her like shit, even though she loved me. Once we broke up, I just finally got the feeling that I could not be without her. I also started university, so we couldn't help. Uh, so we couldn't see ourselves every. You couldn't see. Okay, you guys can see each other every uh, every day. My behavior improved a lot, but I still haven't done anything good. So he he has more to say, but I just want to interject here. Okay, so. Do. He's, he's treating her like shit. This, th this kind of behavior, behavior comes from deep insecurities and, and, uh, and I find that this happens to young people a lot. Okay. Uh, so, so he's treating her like garbage and, uh, you know, he's angry all the time and he, he, so deep down inside, he's got some issues. He's got some shit that he needs to work out and She's 19, so she's young, and he's in his and he's in his early 20s, and he's in university. He's probably trying to figure things out in life. And this is the thing, gentlemen: when you guys are young, you guys have a lot of things you need to figure out as individuals. Okay, where you fit in this world. This is the struggle of your 20s and sometimes your 30s. F excuse me, figuring out where you where your place is. What kind of what kind of impact in, in, in the universe that you want to make, wh who you, who you want to hang out with and all this. These are the things that you are going to struggle to, to find out and getting into a relationship. Uh, you're never going to be fully there because you have so many 
demons, so to speak. You have things that are on your mind. You're never going to be present. You're always going to be thinking about something else. And it's going to be really difficult for you to be the best boyfriend or best girlfriend that you can be to your significant other if you have, uh, if your four pillars basically aren't taken care of. So this guy's in his 20s. And he's obviously doesn't have everything together because, you know, he's he's going back to school and doing his get getting shit done. Um, so he whatever anger, whatever sadness, whatever, whatever he's feeling is he's taking it out on her. And that's no way to be in a relationship. You can't treat somebody like that. It's just not it's not fair to them. And the thing is, this girl, from what I see here. Sounds like a good woman. She's given the benefit of the doubt. She's like, I want you to just get better with your 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 feelings, how you feel. Now, he might have gone through some shit, but he has some shit to really figure out here. So I'm going to read the rest of this. She started feeling empty like six months ago, and I was trying to help, but nothing changed. Uh, we tried to break up with each other like four months ago, and she always told me that she cannot live without me. We all know how that how that is. It's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> anybody can live without anybody. It's fine. In the end, she broke up with me like two months ago. She tried to be a friend with me and I fucked up. I acted like a girl, just couldn't accept it. We are not in con we haven't been in contact for a month, and the month before it was very little communication. She is scared of me, even saying things that are that are not true. She is thinking that I'm a very scary person trying to hurt her more. She thinks I'm stalking her even though I don't. Uh, I'm working on myself now, almost know how to control myself, knowing I fucked up and I'm ready to give her every second of her love back to her and heal, heal all her wounds. But she's extremely scared almost for no reason. Okay. Like first, that's the very first thing that you said that's complete bullshit uh, that, that I'm going to call him out heavily. She's extremely scared for no reason. This dude treated her like garbage for, you know, he's probably got, he's probably has like little spasmatic attacks <laughs> and treats her like shit and gets, he probably yells at her and shit like that. When like earlier in the email, he's like, I, I hurt her a lot with my angry feelings because I couldn't control my emotions. He said that earlier in the email. So, or in the Instagram DM. So he's like, she's, you know, she's scared of me for no reason. I bet you. He was acting like a creepy stalker and he doesn't, he doesn't think that it's true that he's acting that way because of how much he loves her. So I really don't know what to do. She is very anxious and she doesn't trust me. I really do love her. Um, and then I said, I'll make a video today. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it explained. Okay. Sorry for the English. And he's, then he says at the very end, this is the very last point here, guys, this, the thing I wrote, we broke up once in our relationship and I finally got brain hurt that I really love her happened like a year ago. We couldn't stay without each other for seven days. We decided to start working our relationship. Okay. So they, 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 they had issues before. All right. So what I want to just say here is this guy needs to work heavily on himself and controlling his emotions. You cannot be emo more emotional than your woman. Sorry, it's just not going to work very well. Uh, so he, and that's tough in today's day and age for men because men, we have so many things that we have to work on and do because uh, we have the burden of performance. Awesome, right? But that's the way that it is. So, and he ends off saying, I really do love her. We all know, we all, we, we when you're in this position, we know that how much you love her and your love for her does not mean that she's going to love you back. This guy basically screwed the relationship up because of his emo lack of emotional self-control. He can't control his emotions, how he's feeling, and they probably had lots of fights uh, and shit like that. Uh, he's like, we can't, I can't live without her. So you know what? You know what I truly think here? I think that he likes and loves her more than she loves him. Uh, and he, because I could just tell by the way he's talking uh, that he 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 values the relationship. I, I think he's a saboteur, saboteur, however, however you say that. Uh, because here, here's the thing about people that are emotionally fucked up. He knows that he has something good, right? I've seen this before. He has something good. And 
I think that he sabotages it because he feels and he gets angry at her and he takes his bullshit out on her because he feels deep inside like he doesn't deserve her. So he acts out because deep down inside, he doesn't feel like he is worthy. So when he acts out and does those things, he's almost hoping that she'll break up with him because that's what happens when you have such a weak uh, view of yourself, right? So this this guy sounds extremely insecure, which what are the two things that always make women want to walk away from you? Insecurity and complacency. This this guy is this this guy's insecure. He needs needs to work on himself and and control his his emotions and like you can't treat somebody poorly over and over and over again and expect them to stay. Uh, now I'm not saying she didn't do anything wrong, but I don't know any of the any any of the her side of the story, obviously. Um, so yeah, you know what? I don't blame her. Like you treat somebody like shit, they will leave. Um, now men put up with that a lot more than women do. Uh, you know, so. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, so what again, whatever you see on your screen, is, it doesn't really have much to do with the email or anything like that. It's just general information. I want to have something there for you guys to look at. Uh, so with my book recommendations and how to reach me personally is all there. Uh, but I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. It's a long video. Uh, so whoever's here to the end, I love you. And I'll catch you guys on the flip. Take it easy. Peace.